What's up guys, Black Rose Duelist here with Battle of the Roses number 3 of the revamp of the series. Today we have trains fighting against mass heroes. If you've been watching this series, you can easily tell mass heroes have been dominating. Trains are number 2 on the list to fight mass heroes for their spot. So today you will see trains versus mass heroes. It's a very good match. I'll be playing the trains. My friend Dylan Barry, he's a really good mass hero player. He'll be playing the mass heroes. So sit down, relax, grab yourself a piece of chocolate, and watch Battle of the Roses, the new series by Black Rose Duelist. Da -da -da. So I'll be playing the trains. Um, game one. I draw a decent-ish hand. I didn't really know how to play the deck. Uh, I forgot who requested it, but I'll leave their name in the description below when the video's up. But, um, I didn't really, I've never played this deck before, so it was nice to learn something new at least. But, um, from what I could tell, um, uh, I really enjoyed the Shadal version. I thought it worked really well with the deck. Uh, one of the main problems, though, was Dark Law really hurt the deck. Um, right here he said he messed up, he didn't mean to mass change. But, um, so as you can see, he has an okay hand. He goes for Exciton Knight. And that kind of hurts, because he has Phoenix Chain to negate my big guy, and then everything dies, and I kind of just lose all my advantage here. But so does he. He only has two monsters. I have uh, I have three cards to his now three. So, as you can see, he sets the Vanities. That's going to be a really, really big key player in the late game. Um, so, as you can see, I really don't have anything here. Um, I'm kind of just left to die. Um, he goes for his Blade Master. I thought it was game, but it's not enough. Actually, wait, it is enough. <laughs> Lol. So as well, you might be able to see that trains can be a little bit inconsistent because they are really high leveled. So if you don't get the right cards in your hand, you can get a bad hand. But they are really powerful when you can get them out. He really did outplay me though with the Fiendish Chain uh, and the Exciton. Uh, it basically went for me having so much advantage to him winning. Right here, I, might, I probably should have went for the Shiken, Shikanaga, but I thought this might have helped me uh, for next turn. I could play Ruffian Real Car and go for things, but, I mean, it worked out pretty good. Uh, I have the advantage with more card advantage now. Uh, he goes for Hero Lives. Uh, he's down to 30, 50 now. Uh, but I get a Max C, and he's going to special summon a lot this turn. So, it allows me, he's he's able to OTK, but as you can see, I now draw into the Veiler, which will be able for me to survive in the game. And now you can see I have tons of advantage over him. So, the Maxi Veiler, um, I really do enjoy hand traps this format, and just in the game in general, I find them really, really helpful. Uh, so, here I go for uh, this thing and this thing and many things of sorts. Um, but because of the field spell, I can't do damage this turn. Um, but it's fine. I have, I'm have, i able to negate any special summon monsters effects and protect him from anything. Now I get this back, and it's basically game there. Um, train's really popular. Not popular. I meant to say powerful. Uh, popular, too, I guess, in Asia. But yeah, trains win this game. Uh, really good back and forth going on here. I'm just not going to cut this out. Uh, game 3. Um, this one's really good. Um, he goes for his 4,000, which is a little risky against trains, because trains can get really big damage on board, but, uh, for the sake of staying in the game, this is important for him. I go for terraforming, he changes the, uh, the mass change to go into Dark Law, and from Dark Law's effect, I change Shikanaga. What that will do is now I'll have a Shikanaga there for, uh, me to just protect myself. It might have been better to put him in attack, because I had the Raigeki, but I thought 3,000 defense. Um, there's not much that heroes can get over it with. I'm now go for the attack. Um, he's down to 2,400 now, and I thought that was pretty safe to say I'm in the advantage here. But as you can see, he does go off and takes back all the advantage he had that I had on him. Um, and I'm only left with three cards of his, two big beaters, and a face down. So I have my Squamata. I thought Squamata would help uh, pretty significantly. Um, I go for Mirror Force, and Squamata gets me the draw. I thought I needed to draw into something. I draw into Yuki Usagi, which I'm currently playing one, but I might take it out. Uh, it's just an interesting tech. 
Um, right now, I could have gone for a rank 10, but he plays Vanities. I meant to say that this was the game Vanities was a big player in. If I got that playoff, I would have been able to probably win. Because I would have gone into Gustav Max, dealing, dealing 2,000 and then attacking him. That would be game. Um, so I'm just forced to set everything, and he's basically got this game on the lock. Um, so I play this. He has an effect where you can inflict 500 to your dam uh, damage to your opponent. So I thought, why not try to burn him? He's down in 2,400. So now he's down in 1,900. And I'm basically just locked out of the game uh, because of vanities. Uh, but right now he ruins vanities um, but and goes for the OTK. Or not an OTK, but like go for a game. Uh, but my Falco gets me my Shikinaga, which I thought would have won me, like, or at least gave me some time. But he goes into Inky and attacks directly for game. Um, next game, let me go up here. This was another really good game. We both really play pretty back and forth, and that's what I like about it. Um, you really don't know who's going to win um, just by any point of the duel, really. Um, so he goes for his first turn Goblinburg play. As you can see, he has the Vanities. Vanities really hurts trains. Um, it's getting really lucky with the vanities, though. Only one vanities. But, um, he goes into the Dark Law, which really just, if you can't tell, Dark Law really does hurt my deck. And now, I think he just kind of has this game on lock now. He had his Acid and destroyed all my spells and traps. And now I'm down with only three cards now. Not much that I can do, but I go for this. And then I go for my rank 10 exceed, but vanities. And as you can see, vanities just completely kills everything. And now he can destroy the vanities and go for his own game. So, as you can see, uh, very back and forth. But that was the game. Uh, well, I, he didn't play cowboy, I guess. So, I mean, it doesn't matter what I draw at this point, really. So, yeah. Uh, that was the match. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to Dylan Barry for the amazing match. We both played really well. At least that's why I think. Uh, Shadals and Trains work pretty well together. Almost like butter and bread. LOL. JK. Kids. But um, expect a Shadal Train deck profile tomorrow. And the next episode of Battle of the Roses will be on Tuesday. Along with an updated chart. I'll do updated charts every Tuesday. So you'll be able to see the top 10 and the uh, leaderboard. The deck that will be facing Mass Heroes t uh, Tuesday will be Hat. Uh, ha uh, Artifact Hand Trap Tricks from when they were good, too. So it'll be the original format. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later, and bye.